hitch again in the second or the first or excuse me second half right now what they're going to do is get him involved early again in the offense right now mitchell is the guy that can break it for you they get offense alignment out there they get other receivers downfield blocking he's just going to take a step come in and catch the football wait for the blockers here they come in there you can see the receiver is trying to open the lane for him there's wayne demetrician trying to get the big block to free him nine yards for daryl mitchell and on second and short bell plunges across the 45 for the first down just a note on Jerry Baker because a lot of focus is on him. The last time these two teams met, Erie went two for six. Last year in the playoffs, he missed a late field goal, and the Argos in the final minute drove down and won the game with a touchdown. And Dave Ritchie talked about bringing in Carlos Huerta himself three weeks ago. Ever since we mentioned that, the fact that the pressure was on, he's responded. And in his defense, the game he missed four field goals, he hit two goal posts, which is like winning the 649. Not very often you're going to do that. Here's Mitchell again. He is forced out. Ball at the 52-yard line. And another productive gain for Mitchell with the crossing pattern. Well, this is the thing we talked about in the opening pack right now. This is his favorite play. He kind of feels his way underneath, tries to find an opening, tries to find some congestion, Springview. And again, he does a nice job of making the catch and picking up some nice first yards. Six yards for Mitchell that time, it's second and four, and we should mention Irv Smith out of the game with the concussion. Very foul, and he has the completion of Mitchell again, so a steady diet of Mookie right now to start the second half for Kerwin Bell. Well, this is a steady diet of Mitchell, as you say, but one of the things is, it's a pick play. Wayne Demetrician goes down, picks the guy, Mitchell comes back underneath. Watch this right now, he comes underneath, there's Demetrician running. All he's doing is creating a little bit of a rub. Gets the opening. Nice catch, nice first down. That's working together. That's what your receivers and your slot backs are all working hand in hand. There goes Marching, trailing by 10. And Bell under the gun. Falls on the carpet. And Toronto gets back on the football. Jude St. John helping his quarterback out after Bell hit the turf for the third time and again. Boy, he's taken a pounding all season long. All season. And he just keeps coming back. I mean, I don't want to use any kind of a cliche of the Energizer or anything like that. But I tell you what, on this one, he is just, he sees the pressure. He tries to step back away from the pressure. As you say, he doesn't pull the ball back in. Swift Birch has got him wrapped up. As he goes down, the ball comes loose. Very, very fortunate that Jude St. John sees the football and beats Tom Hips to it. Boy, Swift Birch has been a huge factor this afternoon on the defensive line for Montreal. It's second and 21 now. And Bell dumps it underneath. And they get back to the original line of scrimmage with Daryl Mitchell. 